very much to my YouTube channel. My name is Samuel. I'm uh, here presenting about uh, an acacia tree, and uh, we have two subspecies of acacia. We have uh, the acacia Senegal and acacia Vigilia. So, um, where I'm standing uh, under this uh, tree, this uh, this is an acacia Vigilia. And uh, the main difference between Fijilia and Senegal in Fijilia, as uh, I hold here, uh, this is Fijilia. I said this is a Fijilia. So this is a Fijilia. So the main difference between them is dawns. So to Fijilia, they have a, a straight, a straight dawn. They have very straight sharp dawns, and also they have a. Uh, they are alternating with the very small, the, the, the hooked tons. So uh, that is in Fijilia. But in Senegal, uh, although Senegal is not here around, uh, they only have uh, a hooked tons. They have a hooked tons. So uh, our topic today is uh, about this tree. So this is an Acacia totilis. Uh, the, uh, the common name is called Umbrella, uh, umbrella Thorn. And then uh, our local name, Amamasai. So our local name we call it Nsepes. So we call it Nsepes. So this is Nsepes now. So we are now talking about uh, uh, Acacia totilis or uh, Acacia Vigilia. So um, hmm. to talk about it, uh, uh, we will start from the uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, introduction about this tree. So this tree. It grows to uh, uh, it grows to uh, 21 meters tall, and uh, it has an umbrella shape. It has an umbrella shape or canopy shape. So uh, that is uh, how it grows. So it's 21. It grows 21 meters above the ground, and uh, also it has a uh, it has an umbrella shape. Uh, as you see, as you see uh, this one. As you see this one, just see how this tree is. See how this tree is. I'm sure you'll be able to see it's uh, an umbrella shape. Although our tree here is not very big, it's just small. Yeah. So uh, to talk about the adaptations, we have uh, some adaptation to where they grow. So first thing to know. These species of trees, they mostly grow in uh, semi area, uh, semi desert areas, and also to des desert areas. So, like places like Somalia, uh, like in Kenya, and uh, mostly uh, places around around the Sahara Desert, and also on the other side of Shelby Desert and in Namibia. Those are the main places where you will get the acacia species, both uh, Senegal and Fijilia. So here uh, is a semi-desert. So uh, these trees actually survive by having some fissures or adaptations to where they are, they grow. So uh, the first adaptation of this tree, they have uh, deep tap roots. They have deep tap roots. Help them to reach the water table, uh, the water table in the underground. So uh, their roots, their, uh, their, their long roots, will help them to absorb water from the water table in the underground. Those are about the, the that's uh, the adaptation about the roots. And uh, to the stem, as you see, there's a stem here. A big stem. It's a very thick stem, so uh, it's thick to help this plant. Uh, it's thick to help this plant to store water and also to prevent cold from the plant. So that's why it has a thick stem, and also to prevent flooding in case of floods. Uh, the tree will not be uh, damaged by the water, so that's why it has a thick stem. So uh, we are now going to talk about the leaves. We have the leaves. It 
has reduced size of leaves. So you see here, this is the size of uh, the leaves. They are very small. They are very small uh, uh, leaves that will help them uh, to reduce the, the loss of water in those tomatoes. So that's why they are very small uh, leaves. And also they have uh, uh, thorns like needles also help in the reduction of loss of, loss of water. And uh, another thing, uh, what they do, uh, the thorns also prevent the grazers from the herbivores from uh, come and eat the leaves. So they also act, act as a protective from the leaves. So no animals that try to do uh, to eat the, the leaves. So uh, because uh, this this uh, species of trees, uh, mostly the giraffes and uh, most browsers, most browsers, they feed on them. It's very good because it's palatable. The leaves are palatable and sweet also. So that is uh, that is the importance of the tones. And another thing, they do symbiosis. Small hands. They are. They, they usually have a very small stinking hands. Stinking hands. We call it galau in Maasai. We call it galau. Although now I don't see it. So uh, they also protect the leaves from. Uh, being eaten by grazers yeah so that's about the leaves and, uh, and plants so um, this plant has uh, uh, white flowers so it, they, it comes as seasons that uh, this uh, like for example this tree will have many flowers many beautiful flowers that are fitted very closely white flowers and also it has a romance it has a roman, uh, romantic smell that will help also uh, to attract the bees uh, also the, the bees will benefit from this plant because you see they come and feed the nectar from the flower and uh, they go make the honey and uh, also the tree will benefit from this so this is symbiosis uh, the musho benefit help me i help you so um, this will come, they come get nectar, they go use uh, for honey, and also the tree will, uh, the pollination of the tree will, uh, will, will occur. And that is between insect and plant. So that's uh, another important plant in this tree. So, uh, another thing to know, uh, this uh, tree, also produces it produces uh, seeds that are in, that are in pod. So they have uh, like small seeds that coil themselves like a, a like a, a screw hanging. So uh, there is a season uh, you will see this tree full of many pods, and uh, the pods are very nutritious to the grazers to to animals. Especially in places like here, uh, because we are nomads, we keep uh, we keep domestic animals, many uh, many goats and sheep. So they mostly benefit from that pot because they are, they are palatable, and they can be able to eat it, and uh, um, uh, they can survive with the, 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 only the pot without any pets. So like two, uh, and the pots mostly occur. They mostly get uh, uh, during dry season, that's the only time you will see many pods on top of these trees. We call it sagaram, sagaram in Maasai. So uh, our animals mostly benefit on uh, the pods. So that's a small explanation about this tree. So next time maybe we'll learn more about it. Hey.